Hi everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith's Print and Pray Shop, and today I have a brand new Bible journaling process video for you using this brand new print and pray set from Emily Karwaski called Daddy Dates. This is an adorable set. She includes tons of ideas for dates with our Heavenly Father. I just think that's such a cool idea. Giving you a quick peek at the set here, there are four sheets in the daddy date set and then there's also a coordinating alpha called the smudge alpha I printed things on a three colors uh, here, combination so. of white cardstock and then also clear sticker paper I'm gonna use this plant this potted plant um, that I had originally printed on clear sticker paper and then show you an idea for using the patterned paper that comes with this kit so I had printed this on clear sticker paper and thought it would be fun to cut it into teeny tiny strips and use it like you would use the highlighter washi tape from Illustrated Faith to highlight the passage in my Bible that I'm journaling today. Funny story, I forgot that I cut these strips out and I don't end up using them on my page. So I left this in just to show you a way you could use patterned paper. Next, I set to work on getting my title ready, and my title is going to be Be Holy. And so I wanted to use these alphabet stickers, or alphabets, these letters, to spell out the word holy. And I'm journaling in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14 today, which says, Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. So I was kind of working with a color scheme here using pretty much blues and greens and thought it would be fun to get a colorful background down on the page. I'm using some white acrylic paint and just putting it on my page very messily with a paint card. You could use a paintbrush or your fingers even to do this. You can still read the text on my page. It's not like a really thick layer of acrylic paint. So I'm going to hit this with my heat tool to help speed up the drying process. And then I looked through my stash of Neocolor water soluble crayons and pulled these four crayons. At this point, I have no idea what this is going to look like or how it's going to work. My plan is to use these four, color them onto some scrap packaging that I had, and then drop some water droplets on here. I'm actually not going to use the brush to get the pigment onto the page. Instead, I plan to use my finger. So I put the white acrylic paint down because I feel like it makes the colors a little more vibrant on the page than if I were just to use them straight on the cream page. So I decided to put my Bible mat back underneath, and then I just spread the water around the color that I had like colored down when it was in crayon form. And I'm picking it up with my finger and then swiping it horizontally across the page and just moving the different shades around. I think at this point I was realizing, oh, this is not only really fun, but it looks pretty cool too. You could also use the packaging technique, apply some water to the color on the packaging like I did, and then just place the packaging directly onto the Bible page, move it around, and it gives it kind of like this very loose, abstract um, just placement of color on the page. I'm going to hit this with my heat tool for a couple seconds. It doesn't take long to dry since I didn't use much water, and then I'll go ahead and get to working on the rest of my page. So I've got this little scrap of paper here, and I'm planning on putting down the alphas, the alphas onto this paper and then trimming it so it's like a little block. I find that when I put things that are printed on clear sticker paper, especially that are lighter colored like this, that they kind of they kind of lose them in the painted background. And so I wanted to go ahead and put them on a little white piece of paper, distress it a little bit, and then um, and really have it pop off the page since the whole point of me journaling this is to talk about the idea of being holy. I certainly don't want that part of the title to get lost. So next I'm just going to distress the edges a little bit to give this a little dimension and keep it from being kind of boring. So I'm just taking my fingernail and running it along the edge of the paper to tear it a little bit to just make it not lay flat. 
if that makes sense. So next I'm going to move on to this little potted plant down here. I had printed it on the clear sticker paper and again didn't want it to get lost in that painted background. So I just very simply stuck it down on some white cardstock and now I'm going to fussy cut around the pot and the leaves and it'll turn into like a die cut now. I love and Emily set the ideas that she includes. She says uh, you can open up a journal and write your heart out to God. Go for a walk and tell him all the beautiful things you see. Have a night in with him. Put it on your schedule. Don't turn on the TV or the phone. Be with him. Uh, she talks about going for a hike, a bike, or a walk. Take your time. Thank him for his creation. And she just gives us all these wonderful ideas. And then like coordinating illustrations to document our our daddy dates with our Heavenly Father, which I think is just so special. Such a wonderful use of our free time. So in a, another way I wanted to kind of bulk this up, add a little bit of dimension to this piece of paper was to put some staples on it. I have a, a tiny attacher from Tim Holtz. I'm not actually stapling it to the page. I just want to give it that look. So why not try this? And then I'm going to finish off my title with these wonky puffy alphabet stickers from Bella Boulevard. Again, sticking with the blues on this page. And then I, I left this little piece here dangling off the edge because I wanted to be sure I was going to have enough room for my journaling and knew I didn't really need to see the whole, the whole plant to know that it was a plant at the bottom of the page. I also pulled out some black and white like a grid washi almost that I had in my stash and I'm going to put that in a few places on the page. I also layered that underneath that word holy to really draw your attention to it. So here I'm just outlining the verse that I'm journaling again, Hebrews 12 verse 14, totally forgetting that I had cut those really thin <laughs> strips of the patterned paper to like kind of create a little box around that passage, but I can always use them for another entry. And then I'm going to do some stamping before I get my journaling done. I'm using the Fruit of the Spirit clear stamps from Illustrated Faith and Bella Boulevard and stamping this around the page in a few places just to add some interest and a little something extra. And then I'm going to move on to my journaling. So I did spend some time in the Word, spend some time reading um, a book actually, and I'm going to write my takeaways down here on this page. So now that I've got my journaling down, I'm going to go ahead and use this kind of blank space up at the top to stamp my date with the Studio Calico Mega Date Stamp. Choosing just to use the date, I didn't really need to note that the, it was done in the year 2018. And then I'm going to look to these puffy stars, also from Bella Boulevard, again keeping with those blues. And I'm going to put these um, stars down in a few places on my page. And that's going to do it for me. Here's a finished look at my page along with a couple of close-ups. I hope you guys will check out Emily's set. It really is just beautiful with all her beautiful illustrations and I love the ideas that she gives us to spend some quality time with our Heavenly Father. The printables and everything I used in this video are linked in the description below if you want to check them out. And this is going to be my last video for a little bit. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and all of the wonderfully sweet comments that you leave. I love reading each and every one of them. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.